Okay, so hey, Ika. Yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you got a great story. I'm just amazed that um, you started pole walking. You lost a ton of weight, and I want to know exactly how you did that. Exactly how you did that. How I did it. Yeah. Um, I started pole walking before I decided to lose weight. I just wanted to get in shape, and so I started pole walking um, a couple times a week, three times a week, and then um, an incident happened, and I had to lose weight, according to my doctor. So I got my head together and I thought, okay, it's time. So I joined Weight Watchers and I followed the program, but I also did a 30 minute, 30 day challenge. And that started my whole program, which was I walked 30 plus minutes a day. And was that walking or pole walking? walking. Pole me. walking, pole okay. Walk 30 minutes a day, uh, for every day for 30 days. Yeah. And um, I did it rain or shine. As I did it, my pants fell off. I remember standing walking and then having to stop and pull my pants up because uh, my pants were falling down. You had too and, bad, eh? Yeah, too bad. <laughs> and um, I just, I did it that way and that's, and that's how I, so I lost 50 pounds and I have gained a little bit back, but I think a lot of what happened is I could have lost 50 pounds and still been a fat 50 pounds, mm -hmm. but because I pole walked, I became a really fit 50 pounds. And even when I was, even when I weighed a lot, less as a as a younger person i wasn't as cut as i am now yeah and i look at my arms and i don't recognize my arms sometimes oh. in the morning because i look at them and go whose arms are those because they're toned and they're fit yeah i don't have those bat wings that you can have when you yeah. lose all that weight i don't have that cool um my calves are really cut gorgeous right they're gorgeous yeah and sometimes you look at them you know i feel like i could cut cheese on them and my legs are really really toned I oh have yeah little pouches you know little because i have extra skin i think now because that's women have that but you know what i'm really proud of what i did and i'm really strong and my thing was also is i didn't go to my goal weight in weight watchers i actually talked to my doctor and said i don't want to look thin and emancipated i want to look strong so we agreed on a, a higher weight as long as I, um, because of my muscle. It was oh, my yeah. muscle I was more concerned of than my weight. Yeah. And yeah, I still have like a belly and I still have some pounds to lose because I, you know, I gained a couple pounds. But I pull walk all the time and I'm fit. And I'm actually probably f the fittest I've ever been. Wow. And I was an athlete when I was a kid. Wow. So I'm the fittest I've ever been. So Okay, I want the nitty gritty scoop here. So with your Weight Watchers, yeah. you did that I'll say religiously, right? I followed the program. Yeah, I followed the program. So like, did you do it like 90% level or 100% level or 80% level or? I lost weight every week. But I mean, you know, they go do this. And so were you doing what they said, like about 90% level or what? No, I did 100% level. 100%, and, and okay. And when I joined it, they were talking about, um, it was their, their focus was fitness, like walking, getting out and moving. Yeah. And it was the perfect um, connection. And then at one time they talked about a talisman, that you had to have some kind of talisman to encourage you to keep walking. And my talisman were my poles. Oh, yeah. And so cool. when I thought about being, hor you know, breaking down or, or stopping, because, yeah, it's difficult. It's a very, very difficult process because you have to change your mindset. And you have to change the way you live. My talisman, and they still are, are my poles. They are the most important thing I have. And they remind me that I have to take care of myself. Cool. So it sounds like that 30-day challenge just got you in the habit of pole walking. And then, yeah. cool, lo and behold, you got results. And you went, wow, this is pretty good. Yeah. And then, and then, yeah. then how much did you walk after that? Pole walk, you know, like three or six months. Oh, I, I did another 30-day did you challenge. yeah you know what I, I just do the pole walking challenge and then right now what i'm doing is i try to do i try to do four days a week four days a week just and how many I'm minutes uh i do 40 minutes 40, 40 god that's great sometimes i'll do longer um because what i find is sometimes 30 minutes isn't long enough yeah for my head yeah it's long enough for my body but it's not long enough for my head right. so sometimes when i'm reluctant to go out i'll go and I'm like you have to go out it's only 30 minutes i'll put my cell phone on for 16 minutes so I always walk over 30 so I put my cell phone on for 30 16 minutes it will ring and then I'll walk another 10 minutes oh yeah and then I have to turn around and then walk home so I've added so at 26 minutes so I've walked 52 minutes yeah and sometimes that's not long enough yeah and so it it's really good for my head too 
It's not only just good for my body, but yeah. it's really good for my head. So it's been a really positive experience. Cool. And pole walking, I, I will say, I could still be a fat person having lost all that weight, but now I'm a fit person. Yeah. That's lost weight. Cool. That's great. 